In 2012, our Student Design Challenges theme was water. How do you store water? How do you get water? How do you save water? How do you clean water? We presented that challenge around the world and 68 teams submitted projects. So the team that won the first place was a team from the University of Toronto. And their challenge was to remove trapped air out of water pipelines. So they had to think what organisms in nature actually take air out of water. And what came to mind were fish. Fish live underwater and they don't come up to breathe so they have to get their air somehow. And the way they do it is those very fine gills that are on the side of the head. And those gills have a very large surface area and the water goes across the gills and it creates a counter current exchange of gas. So the gas is easily pulled from the water. And so they applied that to create a design that removes entrapped air. The second place team was a team from Belgium. And their challenge was how do we save the amount of water that's used raising crops? So they said, we know that cooling protects vegetables. And what about evaporative cooling? I mean, they wanted to have a system that didn't use a lot of energy. So they were looking at what organisms use evaporative cooling and they discovered the honeybee. So honeybees will actually bring water to the hive, coat the hive with water, and then they fan the air through the hive using their wings. And this gave them the idea for an evaporative cooler that only cost wholesale $6. So it can be used in countries that don't have a lot of money and extend the life of the vegetables. The third place team was a team from Chile. They are in an area with a lot of drought. And in this area, most of the vegetation actually gets its water from the air by condensing dew out of the air. And so they were thinking, well, we know that people are already using these mist nets and what can we do to make that even more efficient? So instead of trying to find some other organism that takes water out of the air, they looked at the landscape patterns around and they said, okay, on certain hillsides, at certain, certain slopes, plants are more efficient at taking water out of the air than in other places. They came up with a set of simple rules that will allow farmers to place their mist nets and their crops in certain patterns to mimic the natural vegetation. But in this Ask Nature Nugget, students had a challenge and they went out to biology and looked for solutions. Congratulations to the winners and thank you all 68 teams that participated.